Hey Mary, I'm here at 725 Laurel Way in Castleberry. Here you can see this is the front of the property. It's two car garage, um, pretty decently sized driveway. The house seems to be like it is block with some kind of wood framing here. And then this is the front door. So you walk in, there's a nice little foyer here. To your left, as you walk in, you have more of like a fine formal dining area. It's a very large space. If you don't use a formal dining area, it could be used as an expansion of your living area. Um, but if I were to keep going back, so front door, your AC unit is right here. It is from March 2018. It looks like pretty looks, looks like it's in pretty good shape. And then as you continue through the foyer, you move to your left. And here is the living area in the kitchen. The kitchen can use some updating, but overall um, pretty decent size. And I know that you were curious about the laundry room. Yes, you could put this back in the garage and be able to expand your kitchen to be a bit larger. Um, this door here actually goes to the dining area. So this is the first room that I showed you as I walked in the door. Um, the garage, this door goes to the garage right here two car garage, it's a water heater. That water heater needs to be replaced. And I can also tell you that the plumbing on this water heater would need to also be um, replaced. It is polybutylene and that is not uh, well accepted by insurance companies. Not the whole house is polybutylene, just part of the house. It's just the, from what I can find is the water heater and under the kitchen sink right here. Um, here is where your electrical panel is. This definitely needs to be replaced. Um, I would assume that this likely, this home likely has aluminum wiring as well, um, just based off of the year that it was built. And you can see that in the listing that I will also send to you. Um, but not to be so negative, it is a beautiful home. Definitely has a lot of potential here. Those kinds of fixes are well known by the seller, especially since it's already went through under contract and through an inspection. Um, so they're aware with any buyer that those issues would need to be addressed. Nice fenced in backyard. Um, perfect for your dogs, your new puppies. It's fully closed in. That AC, the outside AC unit, seems like it was probably replaced as well in March of 2018, I would assume, with the, um, the inside unit. The air handler. Just to show you, we have a fully fenced in backyard gate on both sides. It looks like we may have a... Um, I'm wondering if this is a water softener system. Mm -mm. Yes, I think it might be a water softener system. Or some kind of filtration system. We can find that out. But a nice backyard. Not too much ma to maintain, but enough to have a gathering or have your pets out here. New carpet, this is new carpet. So I'd say some of the house is updated, some of the house is not. These are newer doors, double pane, double pane windows right here. Those windows over there are also double pane where the sun hits the home a lot more. And then we'll move down the hallway. So 
here's bedroom number one. New carpet as well. Looks like the house was also freshly painted. They've got the knockdown ceilings with a little bit of recessed lighting in front of the closet, which is nice because the fan that they have don't does not have a light currently. Decent sized closet, also double paned windows. I would say this room is probably, I don't know, maybe 10 by 11 square feet. Or 10 foot by 11. Here is the first bathroom. Hi. <laughs> the first bathroom here. Not much of updates. This bathroom has been replumbed, so it does not have the polybutylene piping. So you're good there. And we move to bedroom number two. Also, I would say maybe, I'm not sure, 10 by 10 square foot room. 10 by nine, maybe. Closet's a little smaller than the first bedroom. But it also has the new knockdown ceilings and also recessed lighting in front of the closet. Moving down, bedroom number three, similar size, has different flooring. Um, again, updated ceilings, recessed lighting, standard size closet. And then we'll move to the best part, the master bedroom. This one's definitely a little bit bigger. I'm not exactly too sure the dimensions, um, but you have your closet right here. Much bigger than the other bedrooms. A little bit of a walk-in, but not, not entirely huge. And then the master bathroom, totally renovated, completely updated. If it were me, I might consider changing this wall color, maybe to match this wall color, but hi. <laughs> but there is that, updated windows again. And that's pretty much it. So let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there. Thank you, bye.